Hey guys, welcome back to the Match Play Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be uh, looking at a couple videos of some on-course uh, play from myself where uh, I made some good choices. So let's get started and we'll take a look at this video. So, Walking in the golf I had a great, ball. hit a great ball off the tee, drove up, center of the fairway, um, just in my typical routine, getting in there. Uh, again, this is emphasizing our uh, strong push and uh, recommendations for you to have that routine. Uh, and you'll see here in a moment, uh, something's not quite right. Yeah, getting everything together and pause the video. There it is. So, yeah. <laughs> so I realized here, um, so I realized here that that golf ball wasn't my golf ball. Mm -hmm. uh, turns out that uh, my ball was 30 yards further up and closer to the hole. Same, almost identical spot in the fairway, which um, I'm laughing this off because golf happens. Yeah. And uh, the importance of marking your golf ball and how that could save you two strokes is literally right there. That's the good choice I made. I marked my golf ball. The ball that was there actually was an unmarked Titleist one. Same exact ball I was playing that day. I saw that the markings weren't mine. Luckily, those markings were facing up. I should have done my research into the ball in the middle of the fairway thinking it was mine, but there was no one else on the golf course there. So I was like, I mean, you can see those two in the distance, but they weren't playing my hole. They were actually on a completely different golf course. And I mean, they would have had to hit it backwards to literally be where my ball was. So, or where I was just now. So mark your golf ball. It's going to save you strokes on the golf course. It's going to lower your scores. So Absolutely. Then we're going to move forward. And, <laughs> and, and you know, if, on the PGA Tour, it's a must. They must identify their – or uh, mark their golf balls as well as only blade playing the same. For us here in, you know, the normal realm, you know, it only can save us ha hassle, you know. And if you're trying to play honestly and try to keep your score, you know, those – the random tide lists that you hit that look the same but isn't actually the same, it's, it's, a, it's a wrong ball, guys. You know, you're not – you know, just because you found one that's similar doesn't mean it's the ball that you hit. Um, so it only allows you to identify and avoid error, essentially. So it's just something good to do. It just takes a couple minutes before a round. Yeah. And then here's me uh, literally driving 30 yards up in the cart to get to my actual ball. But you can see here, I go back into the same exact routine, and I focus on hitting this shot. I have to obviously recalculate and do all that stuff to – grab the right club and then here we go back into my routine you can see here yeah so i just saved myself two strokes by marking my golf ball and being honest mm -hmm. so. and being aware of the situation that he's in he could he could have had that three wood go 30 yards less guys but just by marking his <laughs> golf ball, understanding where he's going to be at, you know, he put himself in a much yeah, better I mean, position. It was a three club difference on a hole that I was like, oh, it's going to be driver, nine iron, driving pitching wedge. And I was like, why do I have a seven iron in my hand? Um, and that's when I realized that over the ball that I was like, oh, it's not my ball. So yeah. give yourself credit for knowing your game better than you think. It's mm -hmm. only going to help you set your expectations better and then not be frustrated on the golf course because you're completely over exaggerating that your miss was outside your norm and that will keep you more level-minded which will let you stay more in tune with your game shoot lower scores and not have those flare-ups and blow up holes so that's all this is kind of going towards is mark your golf ball know your expectations and enjoy the game even more Yep, have a good definitely. one, guys. I, th I think that's the best way to end it. <laughs> yeah, take it easy, guys. <laughs>